Hey everybody, my name is Peter Bedard. Welcome to another wonderful segment of Create Your Health. I'm sitting down with Sharon Jacobisi. Sharon is a Alexander Technique trainer or teacher? Teacher. Teacher. So tell me, uh, what is the Alexander Technique? So the Alexander Technique is an educational approach to movement. It helps students of the Alexander Technique learn how to identify tension patterns and collapse in their body, how to calm the nervous system down and use less muscular tension in everyday activities, how to communicate with their body so that they can release tension when they notice that they're tightening, say, in their neck or their shoulders. Right. What do people come to you typically for? Often people are dealing with some kind of ache or pain or they're highly stressed. Most people are moving with unconscious tension in their body. So a lot of people will pull their head forward and down and pull their sho shoulders up mm -hmm. and they won't be able to even notice that they're right. holding their shoulders up. Mm -hmm. It also pulls them, that tension pulls them off of their skeletal system. So now, instead of using their skeletal system to hold their bodies up, okay, that's their muscles are having to work much harder because they're not balancing the, the bones. So with that collapse through their body, it creates feelings of exhaustion, uh, feelings of tight muscles, and it also impairs their body's ability to breathe. So as someone m goes through a lesson, this is the tension pattern. Narrow chest, head is forward and down, and the torso is, is compressed. Through a lesson, they begin to release, so the neck muscles release, the head balances, they allow their head to balance more on top of their spine, right. their, the muscles of the torso release up into length mm -hmm. and out into width. If someone's collapsing, mm -hmm. whether it's a man or a woman, mm -hmm. they, they're shorter, they're narrower, their body cannot breathe as fully, so they have less movement mm -hmm. within their body. And their energy, really, they look, people look tired when they're collapsed. Yeah, they do. It's like they're taking up less mm -hmm. space in the world. Mm -hmm. It's like, don't, don't look at me. Yeah, And then yeah. they and do the, this, and it's like, yeah, hey. you, Well, people in, in the office are often sitting in a way where their muscles are doing the work of their bones. The muscles of your back mm -hmm. are getting overstretched, not doing their job. Mm -hmm. And the muscles of the front of your torso are overworking, and they're pulling you down. Uh. So the muscles of your back get overstretched and weak, mm -hmm. and then they start to hurt. Sit and stand. Get in and out of a chair a couple times. Uh, in your habits. I feel like, okay, in my habits? Yeah, in your habits. All right, so then mm -hmm. I, would, I would do this. Mm-hmm, yeah. So do that a couple times, and notice the muscular effort mm -hmm. in your head and neck. Yeah, I'm right here. Yeah. And notice <laughs> the muscular effort in the tops of your shoulders as you sit and stand. So now we come back up to this idea of direction. Right. That you're sending new signals from your brain to your body to release that tension, releasing the neck. When the neck muscles release, your head releases so weird. to the top of your spine, way up here. It just feels uncomfortable. Uh -huh. It feels like... New? Yeah. Our habit feels comfortable. Yeah. Uh -huh. N something that's not our habit can feel weird. Your head's releasing up okay. to the top of your spine. Mm -hmm. And instead of using your neck and shoulders, you're letting your head be quiet and mm -hmm. balanced on your spine. And, and you up. let you and really stop. Okay. And you let your ankles, knees, and hips bend as you go into the chair. Yep, you're there. Exactly. That is so weird. <laughs> How is that different? <laughs> that is so totally <laughs> different. So now you're using your musculature more efficiently. Mm -hmm. You're not tightening the muscles in the upper body mm -hmm. to do the work of the lower body. Uh, it feels like a big deal. So, so it's, it's really a process of, yes. just, of just being mm -hmm. more and more conscious mm -hmm. to yeah. how it all really works. Mm -hmm. Everything yeah. really just sort of... That's so different. Thank you so much. You're I, so this welcome. Is really very, thank very you. cool. I appreciate your your sharing that with of us. Of course. And My uh, pleasure. again, thank you for tuning in to create your health. This is Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. Thank and you very much, Peter. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Bye.